I've made some inquiries into the Imperial Court. The sooner we deal with the threats to the Empress, the better. The political situation in the Empire is dangerously unstable. It will complicate matters. Everything in the Empire complicates matters. It's the Orlesian national pastime. Turn your nose up at the grand game if you like, Commander. But we play for the highest stakes, and to the death. The court's disapproval can be as great a threat as the Venatori. We must be vigilant to avert disaster. Don't worry, Josephine. We'll protect the Empress, no matter what. I pray you're right. If your vision of the future comes to pass, the death of the Empress heralds the destruction of everything. Orle holds Tevinter at bay. All of Tedas could be lost if the Empire falls to Corypheus. Selene is holding peace talks under the auspices of a grand masquerade. Every power in Orle will be there. It's the perfect place for an assassin to hide. Does Selene know about the threats against her? Can we send word? I've sent messages to the Empress, but it's impossible to know if she's received them. We don't have enough sway with the court to arrange an invitation. Perhaps a few more alliances. Or soldiers. We need a greater presence in Orle. And soon. Inquisitor, I was just inspecting our new headquarters. Foundation cracks, nesting animals, and miles from any centers of civilization. The staff must make it presentable if we're to receive any visitors of distinction. The people coming know we just survived Corypheus and a dragon. And they must be confident we are able to do so again. The mages are showing great trust in you. They need to feel safe. Do you not feel safe here? I've had... difficulty... forgetting Corypheus' attack on Haven. Do you know who first leapt to arms? Our workers. They were so proud of our cause. Corypheus simply cut them down. So much screaming after that first blast of fire. So many people turned to ash. We lost far too many good people to that monster. I'm sure they'll find rest with the Maker. Well, before I return to my duties, allow me to congratulate you on your appointment as Inquisitor, my lord. I will now bring diplomatic issues to your attention, and I'm more than happy to help with any situations that arise. I'm loath to part from such pleasant company. Would you care to walk the castle with me? Well, a tour, then? Let me fetch the steward. That isn't precisely what I was hoping for. Well, do let me know if you change your mind. Now I must find someone to prepare the guest quarters. Talk later. Goodbye. Brilliant, isn't it? One moment you're trying to restore order in a world gone mad, that should be enough for anyone to handle, yes? Then, out of nowhere, an archdemon appears and kicks you in the head. What? You thought this would be easy? No, I was just hoping you wouldn't crush our village like an anthill. Sorry about that. Archdemons like to crush, you know. Can't be helped. Am I speaking too quickly for you? I was distracted, that's all. Distracted? By my wit and charm? I have plenty of both. 
How interesting to find someone so aware of his strengths. I'm a man of many talents. What can I say? Into Winter, they say the Chantry's tales of Magisters starting the Blight are just that. Tales. But here we are. One of those very Magisters. A Dark Spawn. Who does the Imperium say started the Blight? They say Dark Spawn were always there. Magisters and the Blight aren't even related. Is that a surprise? No one wants to admit they shit the bed. But if Corypheus is one of the Magisters who entered the Black City and he's Darkspawn, what other explanation is there? Why does that make you angry? Because the Imperium is my home. I knew what I was taught couldn't be the whole truth. But I assumed there had to be a kernel of it, somewhere. But no, it was us all along. We destroyed the world. Last I checked, the Blights hadn't actually destroyed the world. Not for lack of trying. No one will thank me, whatever happens. No one will thank you, either. You know that, yes? We don't know what will happen. Nobody does. All I know is this. Corypheus needs to be stopped. Men like him ruined my homeland. I won't stand by and let him ruin the world. Oh, and congratulations on that whole leading the Inquisition thing, by the way. It occurs to me that you were a mage. That just occurred to you. I meant, you must have been part of the circle of magi in the sun. Meaning, you were locked away like a criminal, at least until you rebelled. It's such a bizarre notion to me. There are worse things than being kept in the circles. Death, starvation, being hunted by rabid mobs. Yes, I can imagine. Some would say Tavinta is hardly better, depending on which mage you ask. Still, it's so utterly foreign. It's more surprising that everyone would take the idea of a mage inquisitor so... calmly. Or maybe it's not calm. Maybe the Antivan crows are swimming in gold from all the contracts on your life. Good luck with that, by the way. Grand fun being the one in charge. Have you gone to see Alexius yet? He's in the cells. Not yet, no. I saw him before they locked him up. He looked... despondent. Broken. Not the man I remember, nor the one I want to. I realize it's now your job to judge him. All I ask is, if you do, Show him mercy. He hardly deserves it, but for Felix's sake. I can't help hoping there's something left of the man I once knew. Greetings, Inquisitor. That is your title now, yes? I should thank you. The way things ended in Redcliffe, you could have demanded anything you wished. Yet you chose to make us equal partners. I was not expecting that. Having you here willingly can only make us stronger. Fair enough. Huh. I've been a Grey Warden, Grand Enchanter, leader of a rebellion, and now I am none of those things. Odd where fate takes you, as you're no doubt well aware. I trust everything is well with the mages. We're mostly relieved. An alliance with the Inquisition offers security. Although, who knows for how long. 
I'll leave you to it. Greetings to you, Inquisitor. I am to serve as assistant to any research concerns. You'll find my skills are exceptional. I hope they prove useful. You were made tranquil? Yes, I am tranquil. It was necessary due to a willful nature that made wielding magic a dangerous endeavor. I remember that being a difficult time, but I cannot remember why. My skills are well used in my current position. You're taking over the duties of Minave. Yes. Her death provided the vacancy. I am told there are many who will miss her. My skills will ensure that you do not miss her ability. How can you serve the Inquisition? I am to aid in the research of all creatures encountered in your efforts as leader of the Inquisition. What makes you particularly qualified? I remember being fond of animals. I don't remember why. What is your evaluation of how we're doing? Not optimal, given the facilities. Skyhold should be improved, or our efforts will continue to suffer. As you were. Yes, Inquisitor. I'm sorry. So am I. The names of those we lost. You must blame me for this. We all saw who attacked us. We know exactly who to blame. I keep wondering if I could have done something different. When the first of my lookouts went missing, I pulled the rest back, awaiting more information. If they'd stayed in the field, they could have bought us more time. I was afraid to lose my agents, and instead we lost Haven. You look out for your people. That's a good thing. Is it? My people know their duty. They know the risks. They understand that the Inquisition may call upon them to give their lives. Our people aren't tools to be used and discarded. Your instincts were right. Their lives matter. Can we afford such sentimentality? What if Corypheus... We are better than Corypheus. Reports of Phaedrefs and demons keep coming. The people are terrified, and it's only getting worse. The only thing that will calm their fears now is the hope that someone out there can save them. You have to be that someone. No one else has any power over the rifts. Seal them. Your legend will spread, and Thedas will learn to trust the Inquisition. In Redcliffe, you sacrificed yourself so that I could return here. Of course I did. One small life in exchange for a second chance at history. I always loved a bargain. Well, it worked. That's all that matters to me. If only everything were that simple. The Divine's death hit you hard. How have you been feeling? Oh. You are referring to my outburst in the Haven. I... I am much better now. She was a good friend. And it will take time to get used to her absence. But thank you for asking. It is appreciated. I'll leave you to your work. Sister Leliana will want access to the birds. Get the cages up here. Quickly!
Have you met this friend of Barracks, Inquisitor? Not yet, no. It had better not be who I think it is. I will wring that little bastard's neck. Why? Who do you think it is? Someone Varric claimed he could not contact. Someone the Inquisition, indeed all of Thedas, desperately needed. I'll reserve judgment until I know for certain. No need to have that rogue screaming persecution yet again. Do you have any advice for me? Treat Dorian with caution. It's possible he could be what he seems. A Tevinter mage wishing to do better than his countrymen. What if he is not? At best, his presence makes the Inquisition appear to have questionable allies. Do you have any advice for me? We must keep an eye on the College of Clerics. The moment they elect a divine, things could change quickly. That's enough for now. Another time, then. Inquisitor, meet Hawk, the champion of Kirkwall. Though, I don't use that title much anymore. Hawk, the Inquisitor. I figured you might have some friendly advice about Corypheus. You and I did fight him, after all. This view reminds me of my home in Kirkwall. I had a balcony that overlooked the whole city. I loved it at first, but after a while, all I could see were the people out there depending on me. You're lucky it was just a single city. I've got half of Thedas. You're doing everything you can to protect them. Does it ever get any easier? I'll let you know. I don't envy you, Inquisitor, but I may be able to help you. Varric said that you fought Corypheus before. Fought and killed. The Grey Wardens were holding him, and he somehow used his connection to the Darkspawn to influence them. Corypheus got into their heads, messed with their minds, turned them against each other. If the Wardens have disappeared, they could have fallen under his control again. If that's what happened to the Wardens, do you think we can free them? It's possible. But we need to know more first. I've got a friend in the Wardens. He was investigating something unrelated for me. His name is Stroud. The last time we spoke, he was worried about corruption in the Warden ranks. Since then, nothing. Corypheus would certainly qualify as corruption in the ranks. Did your friend disappear with them? No. He told me he'd be hiding in an old smuggler's cave near Crestwood. If you didn't know about Corypheus, what were you doing with the Wardens? The Templars in Kirkwall were using a strange form of lyrium. It was red. I'd hoped the Wardens could tell me more about it. Corypheus had Templars with him at Haven. They looked like they'd been exposed to the lyrium you describe. Hopefully my friend in the Wardens will know more. I appreciate the help. I'm doing this as much for myself as for you. Corypheus is my responsibility. I thought I'd killed him before. This time, I'll make sure of it. Inquisitor. We'll talk later. I'll meet you at Crestwood. Thank you. 